Masa stress lang kayo. Mo <laughs> manghina yan yeah. kay. Like buying a bana- banana ng seven dollars. Pag ginamit. Banana. Yung saging. Cents lang yun. Hindi man umabot na cents. Ay, ganun ba? <laughs> Joke na. Wrong example. Happy Christmas, Happy everyone! Christmas. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. Um, welcome back to Happening the Season sa vlog namin. This is Julian. And I'm special guest, Asset. <laughs> and this is Asset. So for today, Christmas nga ngayon, um, we wanted to give you an update on how we're adjusting um, or how we've adjusted to life in Canada. And syempre para we can also um, give you an idea how you can adjust. Um, to a life here in Calgary, Alberta, um, in 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 Canada, and you mga differences from life in the Philippines to life here in Canada, <laughs> right? Actually, um, this past um, Christmas Day in 24, medyo hindi ganun ka lamig. Um, it's a shinok, sabi nga sa amin yeah, last yeah. night. So the temperature. For today, I think my positive today. It's yeah, it's positive for Makita. But last week, I got more than negative thirties on yeah. average here. At night, Calgary. it's like negative thirty-one mm. to thirty-two. So, siguro bago tayo mag delve into the topics that we listed out. Yung cold, don't worry, mga kababayan, you will be able to adjust. Yeah. Maraming mga ano dito, mapapagtalong ng tamang layering. Don't really worry about it. As long as may kang tamang in a thermal wear, sweater, um, uh, warm jacket, yeah. boots. Basically, usually three layers naman. Yeah. Thermal, tapos yung sweater, and then the outer layer. Yeah, and <clears throat> you will be able to adjust to the climate here in Calgary. Um, so for context, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, we are the Seasons. We're a family of four. So I'm the, I'm the primary applicant as a student. I'm studying at Bow Valley College taking business administration this is my lovely wife asset yeah well, <laughs> i am the owp and i work at papa john's yeah she's my spouse she's the yeah. she's the open work permit and we have two kids um winter is our um 10 year old daughter so she yung sp minor kumbaga she holds a study permit as a minor and our three year old si autumn naman has a uh, Temporary resident visa. Yeah. Okay, with all that said, so let's first go on to the difference as a routine namin here in Canada versus when we were in the Philippines. So, background sa Canada, syempre bago, ay sa, sa Philippines, bago mag-pandemic, um, I, 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 we used to be uh, living in Quezon City, sa Fairview. So, every day would be me, uh, me working, going to the office. Um, asset um, had a, uh, a job, virtual assistant job, so she she worked from home. She would take care of uh, winter, uh, autumn at home. Because si winter naman may school bus going to her school. Dito it's a bit different, because she's um, I'm an international student. So dumo na sa part ko. Then we're gonna talk about her routine in a day. So I wake up <clears throat> in the morning around 5 a.m. Um, to prepare for school because my school goes 8 to 11 at Bow Valley College. I also wake up in si winter. So we have breakfast together. I help her prepare. I leave earlier than winter because her school bus fetches her malapit dito sa condo namin in Southwest. So ako, I take the bus to go to the train station and then train station going to school because the train station when it's in Bow Valley ka, ka College it's fast in si winter naman, she walks um, siguro 3 fi- or 5 minutes Ngayon, medyo natutuwa pa siya, um, walking through the snow in winter period um, and then she goes home her school ends at 3 She's, she goes to a Catholic school um, and then mga 3.20pm she's still on the school bus niya dito sa yeah. area namin. And how about your day? Me, um, I usually go to work at 4. Kasi salitan kami. So, when he's here, he takes care of all of them. So, kaya pang hapon ako and pang gabi. So, I usually go to work at 4. But my work is just like walking distance. <laughs> <laughs> Nandiyan lang sa kanto. So, <laughs> not, um, not hassle to go to work 
kapag winter kasi naglalakad lang din ako. Although malamig, pero uh, when I walk fast, it's like 2 minutes walk. Kapag medyo, I take my time, 5 minutes, ganyan. Um, yun. So, I go to work at 4 and around 10 or 10 to 1, ganyan. Ganong time. Tapos, yun. Next day na ulit. <laughs> That's just my day. Uh, in the morning, I take care of auto. So, siguro ang tip namin dun is when we, when she was looking for a job and yun, nag-enroll ako nung class or course uh, uh, subjects kumbaga na schedule namin we really uh, made it a point na magkaroon ng magbabantay sa bunso namin kasi he's not yet of school age and while we could have enrolled him in a daycare walang malapit sa area namin um, here in, in Southwest so yeah that's our usual schedule during school days and work days okay next we're gonna be sharing Ano naman, our experience regarding transportation or how we go around Calgary. Um, ikaw, Yona. It's, it's so easy, <laughs> actually. Nag-enjoy ko yung commute here kasi the bus and the train station. Yung bus may schedule siya, so hindi mo ipoproblemahin unless uh, may something or may emergency. But it's always on time. Yeah, Most usually. of the time, it's always on time. So, there's an app also for the bus. So, malalaman mo, makaka-plan ahead ka what, ano, what time you're going para maabutan mo yung bus. Tapos, the bus will bring you to the train station. And then, yun, super dali mag-commute. Tapos, walang traffic. So, super easy. <laughs> Actually, um, yung what I use na app going yung commuting here is just Google Maps. So, na nakuha naman niya yung lahat ng times ng bus and train. Minsan delayed, pero pag delayed, sinasabi naman eh. Yeah. Sinasabi, four minutes delayed or what. Um, fortunate lang kami siguro sa area namin na yung interval ng pagdating ng bus is very, parang every six minutes, very short. Other, ano kasi, other, yeah, other areas, like mga iba kong kaklase sa Bo Valor, may mga naming nakakaus dito from, from, you know, her workplace. Minsan parang 20 minutes yung interval. And farther reaches sa, sa kadulu, I guess, I guess the outer proximity of Calgary, minsan parang once every 30 minutes or one hour daw yung bus. Ganun. Um, one thing about commuting, so what we experience here is maraming mga, how can we say this? There are, um, there. it's not like 100% safe naman. Uh, difference from Philippines, yeah, we're more comfortable um, commuting with your phone out. Diba? Kasi, wala na, oh, ko ha, wala na, hindi uso ang snatcher dito, I guess. Yeah, hindi uso ang snatcher dito, or pickpockets, or what so far. Ang uso dito, ang undesirable situation would be, um, yung mga, dare I say it, parang substance abusers. Um, they seem like they are either very drunk or doing drugs. Um, Calgary naman as a city recognizes that problem. So it's not 100% safe here kasi hindi mo naman predict yung ugali ng mga ganong klaseng tao. So you may encounter them outside train stations, inside the trains. Minsan pinapalabas sila ng mga peace officers or police na makakita sa kanila. So tip here would be you should be still be mindful, what, mindful of your environment. Kung maraming pagsakay mo sa train or sa car ng train na nakita ka na na you gano kind of person. Lumipat ka na. That's what I do. Lilipat na lang ako or lalayo ako. Um, we have a car. Uh, we bought a car here nung first yeah. three weeks namin eh. And, and it's, ang maganda dito sa Calgary is most areas are fairly easy to to reach. Yun nga, kasi walang masyadong traffic. Nakakita lang ako ng traffic inside downtown area. Pero yung <clears throat> the neighborhoods, wala, wala at all. Um, maliban na lang pag 8am may konting traffic so it, it takes like actually yung traffic sa stoplight <laughs> yeah sa stoplight hindi siya dahil sa volume of cars yeah. kaya naghahapang Canada ng immigrants ito kasi they're very underpopulated so konti lang talaga and um, kung magdadrive ka naman doon sa mga attractions parks malls even it just takes like like sa area namin less than 10 minutes to go to the commercial area yung mga mas malalayo 15 Actually, matagal na 30 minutes sa drive uh, dito sa Calgary. Yeah. Parang ano nga ay, what do you call this? In the Philippines, like, pupunta ka lang sa kanto 10 minutes. Yeah. Ganyan. Dito, like, 10 minutes, sobrang line na nang narating mo. Kasi, 
kasi back at home, kuwari sa amin sa Fairview kasi sa Quezon City, pag palabas mo pala, pupunta ka lang to a very near place, maraming sisingit-singit na yeah. na tricycle, tao. Here, thankfully, very disciplined ang yeah. karamihan ng pedestrians and drivers. Saka sa community, hindi ma- wala, parang wala ding masyadong cars talaga. Yeah, on, uh, konti lang din. Um, so that's for transportation or getting around. So if you're worried about, uh, specifically sa Calgary, ha, it's, for us, sa experience I mean, transportation is easy. easy and a lot more enjoyable than how we were living in Metro Manila. Yeah, kasi, lalo na, kunyari, one hour to travel mm. to, kunyari, try na ako ganyan before. Ngayon, siguro, if it were, like, here, tapos try na ako, 10, 15 minutes. 10, yeah. Ngayon, okay, regarding yung work naman or trabaho namin dito, so, um, Oh, I'm the again I'm the student. Um, right now I'm not presently employed by a Canadian company, but I do freelance as a writer. Um, and then um, I'm also part of the student council of Bow Valley College and part of the board of governors. So it's it is a position of my monthly how do you call this honorarium stipend. or oh, yeah stipend honorarium or what? So. Yun, dun nahahati yung time ko from being a student and working. Kay Asit naman? Um, I'm a shift leader in Papa John's. So, I found my work. Actually, nag-walk in na ako and brought my resume. Tapos, the general manager is also Filipino. So, yun. Plus yun. Madali, mabigs kami yung kapag-usap. You know. Tapos, all, all of my co-workers are, almost all are Pinoys also. So, fun working environment. Ganyan. So, my tip to you guys, if you're new, just, print your resume, resume and then submit it to walk in kung saan yung gusto mag ano, and ask for the supervisor or general manager and then give them your resume. So, ganun lang. Uso dito yung ganun. Yeah, yung walk, walk in. in oh. Kasi sa atin, sa Philippines, hindi masyado uso yun. Yeah, tapos <gasps> ano to, the, well, you can also apply through indeed.com uh, more of op- office jobs naman yun. I, I try to apply sa food industry sa Indeed, pero um, siguro kasi sa resume ko walang previous work experience with food so ganyan so mas maganda direct mo makausap yung ano yung supervisor or general manager ganyan and uh, they're willing to train naman they're, I had my training three months uh, mag, mag four, actually four months na ako sa Papa John so yun but anyway so that's the work um, setup there are a lot of jobs here totoo yung sabi na as long as you're not picky you're gonna be able to find a job Yung ano naman, yung finding a job for in line with your work, um, for me, yun yung plan na, uh, for us, yun yung plan naman in the future. Pina, pina prioritize mo naman yung PR and uh, study uh, pathway so far. Okay, so now we've uh, talked about work, transportation, yung daily routine namin. Pag usapan naman natin ngayon yung pagkain or, <laughs> or groceries. Yeah, so si Asset will take oh you through it. Um, we go to the grocery weekly, but um, the meats that we uh, I think I buy meat every two weeks because mm. I also have a friend who sells meat, so sa kanya ako bumibili. So, yung last ko na bili sa kanya is for, good for a month na ganyan. Um, so, laking slab of beef, <laughs> bigat, promise, beef. so bigat. Parang ano yun, uh, Di ka siya sa screen. 5 kilos niya. I don't know. Basta mga gano'n. Tapos, it's around $50. Super tipid. Yun. Mm. Anyway, um, we set a budget weekly also. Kasi we have kids and autumn's milk. Ganyan. Um, usually naman, sakto kami sa budget. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Tapos, uh, yun. You have to budget talaga. Siyempre, if you're new here, ganyan. Iba... Uh, and stop comparing the prices, I guess. Yeah, that's so, true. Stop that's true. converting in your mind. Although, hindi ko pa rin, hindi pa rin nawawala yung, ano na yun, yung, yung habit of converting it into peso. Pero kasi, anong tawag doon? Masa stress lang kayo. Mamanghihinayang yeah. kayo eh. Like buying a bana- banana na $7. Pag ginong... Banana. Pin- Actually, yung saging. Cents lang yun, hindi man umabot na siya. Ay, ganun ba? <laughs> Joke na. Wrong example. <laughs> Kung bagay, bibili ka ng... Give me a good example. 
kunyari, pag yung pancit canton, oh, kasi mahilig pancit kami. Pancit canton. Siyempre, wala dito noon. So, we, meron, meron dito Meron, noon. pero wala, hindi siya like native here. Mahal. Oo, oh, like five dollars yung isang pack. Oh, isang, di ba? Eh, magkano na sa atin yun? Seven pesos. Eight pesos per pack, ha? Yung mga payless, ganyan. Tapos dito hindi siya binibenta per pack. Tapos isang, per six siya yeah. binibenta. So, yun. Adjustment din yung mga ganun. Pero, um, if you're earning already here, mas, ano, mas madali mag- compete for grocery instead of converting it to peso. So yun, you have to really budget and a uh, meal plan is the best way to have a budget also kasi syempre alam mo yung loot and for the day ganyan. So ako, when before I go to work, I already cook for them kasi pang hapon ako and I come home gabi na so I cook for the dinner and the uh, yun. Tapos umabot siya lunch the next day. So tipid din. <laughs> so, um, isa pang mga tipid tips namin kasi yun nga, back in the Philippines, um, yung, life, yung you know, lifestyle or grocery namin, we were able to pretty much pick up or pick out what you wanted to buy in a grocery. Uh, madalas kami yung grocery doon sa Robins, sa supermarket near our place. Dito, uh, ang pinakamalapit sa amin would be Walmart and so be. So Walmart here in, in, in Calgary, I think also in the US, ang ano niya, ang positioning niya is nasa na lang pinakamura. Yung totoo naman, halos ang pinakamurang grocery items na sa Walmart. Um, sa Sobeys, which is near to us, like nalakad namin yun, mas mahal by a dollar or two um, ang, ang mga brands nila. But I'm talking about that kasi there are affordable brands dun sa mga uh, grocery sa to. For example, sa Walmart, uh, meron silang brand na tinatawag na Great Value. Sa Sobe, sa Mary's, na tawag na compliments. And sa Canadian Superstore, parang President's Choice ata. I'm not sure. Yeah. But ang parang ibig sabihin... Ano, oh. Parang siyang SM bonus. Oo. Oh, oh, so, lahalo sa na produkto. Kunwari, uh, merong Coke, Coca-Cola, may Pepsi. Si Walmart, merong Great Value na Coke, ka- na, na, na Cola. So, yung, di- yung difference sa yung Cola... Yung are, Coca-Cola is like $3. Mm-hmm. Or so, si Pepsi, two something, two dollar something. Si Great Value, 97 cents lang. So, if you really want to stretch your dollars, try the affordable, more affordable brands. Ayun. Um, Saka, ano, the, actually, mayroong ano dito, TNT. It's an Asian grocery. Mm. Okay din bumili doon. Pero, anda, uh, kasi, in, parang in bulk siya binibenta. Like, the veggies in bulk. So, ang dami. Eh, apat lang kami. So, sa Walmart ako bumibili. Pwedeng, ano. Pero masagap, yung, nab- yeah. like, yung nag-TNT kami last year, may nabili si Asset, parang Korean. Yeah. Masagap Korean sa- meat. You, you, you have to find talaga what fits your budget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano? So, mag-budget muna before you find a grocery or place to go to. Ang dami na mga Asian, ano, dito. I'm Asian. sure di pa natin lahat na alam or nakikita yung mga Asian stores. Um, regarding food pala, the difference, difference from Philippine food and Canadian food. Marami sila dito Filipino brands. Nor, uh, yeah. Mang Tomas, yung mga seasonings. Global naman ng Nor. Ay, ganun ba? Ah, Sorry. <laughs> Third world mind. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> kunwari, Mang Tomas. Mm-hmm. Or, they also have a lot of the snacks na nandito. Yung mga stick o, yeah. uh, piatos, chipi. Ibang dasinigang mix meron dito. Oo, pero, karamihan sa kanila, iba yung lasa. Mas less yeah. salty. Yeah. Yeah, parang muted yung last. Oh, <laughs> muted, dampened. Hindi ko alam kung dito may na-manufacture or ini-import from Philippines with a, le- with a different kind of formulation. Yeah, baka hindi pwede yung sobrang dampened. Eh, Daming salt siguro. <laughs> um, even Jollibee here. Mas- hindi ko sinasabing hindi masarap ang Jollibee here. It's just different. Yeah, it's just ang pro dito, malaki yung serving. Yeah, true. <laughs> Kasi mahal. <laughs> and kaso, hindi lasang Jolly Spaghetti yung Jolly Spaghetti nila. Mm-hmm. Hindi rin lasang chicken joy yung chicken nila. Pero masarap naman. Masarap, but it's different. Yeah, it's different. For me, totally different. So, yun. Um, that is for food and groceries. Okay, so, we're gonna be talking or sharing with you naman yung other necessities, kumbaga, here in in Canada. So, um, sa phone line, the, uh, phone or telecommunications, Nung nandito kami, we got ours. I think if you, uh, one of our earlier vlogs here, we got Shaw Mobile and Shaw sa home Wi-Fi namin. And so far, we're satisfied with it. It's a bundle. It's a, it's a bundle. Mm-mm. And kung international student ka, ask for their student package or student rates kung, kung anong meron sila. 
um, our home Wi-Fi is very 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 fast. Like siguro kung nagsistreet nagdownload ka ng yeah, games. Yeah, Mbps. Yeah, yeah. Mabilis talaga. <laughs> Like, nag-download akong game one time. Wow, mga, mga, mga thir- gig, 60 gig. gigs isang oras lang. Na-download ko lagi sa Steam. So, it's very fast. Yung phone naman namin, they're very generous here sa data plans. Like, kami naka-25 gigs. Yeah. Pero there are a lot of uh, establishments kasi here na have their own Wi-Fi. So, it's not really a problem. Siguro with 5 gig plan, you're already okay. Although, may mga areas sa so wala kaming coverage kasi Shaw, our provider isn't the biggest in Calgary. Yeah, Telos and is Telos the biggest. And Roger. Roger, Rogers, Roger, Rogers. Yun yung malalaki. But yun nga, we're, we're, we are fine with our Wi-Fi and home uh, home Wi-Fi and our phone plan. Sa bank naman, we have two banks. Sa Scotia Bank and CIBC. Um, uh, wala naman kami. Ano doon? Yeah. Um, one difference that we that we like to point out here is they use a lot of Apple or Google Pay on your phone. Yeah, so, oh, so that's a phone. Even loyalty cards, like yung mga uh, pare, Starbucks card or bookstore cards here, nandito na sa Google Pay lang, for example. So, ang maganda doon for us, lalo nga yung tagginaw, hindi mo na namin hanapin yung wallet because you just keep it in your bag. Tapos itatap mo na lang yung cellphone yeah. mo. Karamihan dito ng establishment. Tap lang. O tap na lang. Um, and I think most Canadians don't bring cash. Ah, kami, yeah. Kami nagdadala kami cash because we're used to cash, diba? Like, I sobrang konting cash. Sobrang konting cash. Pero, $20 nga so na naman ako. Usually, card pay. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Lang. Mm-hmm. Card debit, ganyan. Yeah. Payment. So, nung unang dating namin ito, first few weeks, lagi kami cash. Pero yeah. nung... Yung nga, nabigyan kami ng tips nung friend namin dito na matagal na. Um, credit cards, usually, tawag dito, are preferred. Tapos, even mga um, bus tickets, you can buy it from the app already. Yeah. So, so tap mo tatap mo na yung cellphone mo lang. Yeah. You know? So, very convenient. Everything, almost everything can be done digitally. So. Yeah, even you if... You just need your phone. Yeah, oh, even payments, for example, um, email na lang. Even pag buy ng tuition, um, it's very convenient, like you just do it. Yeah, you know, what's nice here pala, kasi in the Philippines, diba, when, when you pay or send money to someone, you need their num- account number and the name, ganyan, kailangan tama. Dito email lang yung kinukuha nila. Yeah, so just the, oh, sobrang, email lang, parang, you can send for money. us, medyo, ano pa yun, parang, huh? Email lang, okay na. <laughs> So yun, uh, medical naman, let's talk about uh, health. Uh, alam naman natin, or not, we already vlogged about you, Alberta Health Card, how to get it. Siguro ang isang update namin would be, we already have a family doctor who we've been seeing regularly. Um, she's Pinay. So oh, she's Pinay. Right. So, ang hirap maka, totoo, ang hirap makahanap ng family doctor here. Siguro dalang daming uh, dumarating din na immigrants, international students. There's Bum- a wait list, parang ganun, yeah. to get in. And we were in the hundreds sa ibang mga wait list that we applied for. Yeah, oh my God. There was one time nagpa-wait like, list ako. Tapos parang 400 plus. Tapos ako mang dami. <laughs> oh, for, number 400. Mm-hmm. Um, while healthcare here is largely free, yun nga, mahaba ang pila. Yeah. And also, one of the reasons why Canada is looking for to beef up their yeah. healthcare sector. But anyway, so yung pa, kumbaga pa rin system here is any lab tests, anything dinadaan dun sa family doctor mo. Kailangan yeah. yung family doctor Shine mo na point makaan. Person. Yeah, kumbaga. Siya yung point mm-hmm. person. Tapos, um, so far, wala pa kaming binabayad for yeah. our lab tests, for the checkups, ganun. Wala pa. Tapos yung mga like, mga flu shots, and free sila. Yeah, even COVID vaccines yeah, are free, free here. Ganun. So, so mag-walk in ka lang sa pharmacy, ganyan. Tapos, or sa family doctor mo, ganun. And, and pretty for me ah, pretty efficient yung ano nila kasi nagpa ultrasound na ako here nagpa other blood test na kami parang when they say na one hour yung window of time mo natapos kami in our three tests here so far be, be, before less than yeah oh less than minutes. oh mabilis lang kami so ayun although mayroon din naman ako friend na parang yung yung kid nila last month pa siya nagpa check up for a certain diagnostic Nung binok sila, February pa yung earliest. Oh. So, may ganun talaga ganun, din naman. Parang matagal yung waiting time mo, but when you're there, at kunyari na yung day mo of mm-hmm. the test, mabilis lang. You don't need to wait. 
Tapos yung talagang appointment time mo, hindi doon mo yeah. talaga isa-serve. So, okay. Okay, so last na what we can share with you would be entertainment and recreation. Siyempre, hindi naman tayo puro work or study lang dito. You also have to, ano, sleep. <laughs> Antok na siya. Antok na. Oo, oh, kasi we went to a Christmas party last night with yung uh, family and friends namin here. So, pagod pa kami. <laughs> yung entertainment dito is nice because, um, you can go to parks. Siyempre, it's different in the Philippines. Sa Philippines, ang init ng park. Dito, Tsaka, ano, hindi ganun kalinis ang park sa Philippines. There is, sa, ano, sa Ayala. Pero, mainit nga. Alam mo, parang hindi ka mag-enjoy to go to the park in the Philippines. Dito, kapag fall na, ganyan, okay na, masaya maglakad-lakad, ganyan. And people like to walk. Napansin yeah, ko. Yeah. They don't hang out in malls. Like sa atin sa Philippines, kasi malls kasi malamig. Oo. Oh, okay. So, parks sila nagahang. Yeah, parks here are very beautiful to see. And dami, every neighborhood has a park. Even downtown has two or three parks. Um, even two or three big parks and then smaller parks spread around. Enjoy na enjoy for, you know, dates. <laughs> family, uh, with with the kid, family trips. Or yun ko ba, gumuni-muni ka lang, emo time ka mag-isa. Um, the libraries are a great place to, yeah. to go to. Yeah, ang daming public library dito. And, um, you know, driving nga kasi around to like areas like uh, yung mga at, uh, theme parks or like lakes outside of the city. Malapit lang. 30 minutes. Um, malayo na yun. Malayo. Minutes. Yung mga citizens nga here, yun, like, um, naging friends namin. Tapos parang, layo 30 minutes for them. Parang sa amin, hello, 30 minutes? Parang nasa Commonwealth pa. <laughs> pa, pa palabas pala kami ng Commonwealth yeah. from Fairview. So... Uh, it's really for us a a a, a boon na ganun ka exit And the ano here kasi is parang parang kasing laki siya. Yung Calgary is almost as big as Metro Manila. Mm. Parang ganun. Tap you can travel from the south to the north and area of Calgary in 45 minutes. 45 45 minutes per hour. So ma- ma-travel mo na siya ganun. So mm. parang nasa EDSA pa lang ikaw na. <laughs> so <laughs> on the topic of sites to see Marami actually, we've seen the big or the major tourist areas, yung mga landmarks like Heritage Park, which is really, really, really nice. Calgary Tower. Calgary Zoo. Calgary Zoo, Banff. Pero hindi pa namin talaga nakita lahat kasi um, nag-start na rin yung school, nag-start na rin siya mag-work noong September. So we had to manage our time better. Um, ganun. So, so kung introvert ka naman or homebody ka, there are also a lot of things you can do from home. Number one, ang aming ano, selection or great selections from streaming sites, Netflix, Disney Plus, yeah. kung ano-ano pa, HBO. Um, and a, a tip, again, if you're a student, look for student subscriptions or student plans. Yeah, like sa YouTube, ganyan, may discounts kasi tayo. Also, download the Student Beans and University something. I'll just put the link in the get, description ano, below. Get your fair entry as soon as possible. Yeah, kasi yung mga fair entry, tinatanggapin sa mga yeah. tickets. Yung recreation, like kunyari, you go to Calgary Zoo, meron discount. Mm-hmm. You go to the pool. Meron, meron pala dito mga public pools pala, you can go swimming. Yeah, we haven't tried. We visited. Nakita namin, ang, ang ganda, malalaki. We haven't tried Parang yet. Parang Splash Island, ganun. Maliit na indoor. Na, na indoor. Cool nga eh. Uh-huh. So if you have your fair entry, discounted ka. Tsaka, yeah. even sa mga bus fares. Kasi you need that. Kasi ang bus fare dito, imagine mo, one ride, $3 for adult. Mm-hmm. Ano na yun? Good for 90 minutes. So, kung magtitrain ka, magbabus ka. Oo, oh, parang all in But Oo, oh, yung ticket na yun. But imagine, one way yun, ipagbabalik ka, two way. And multiply mo yung days. That's like, $7 a day. If you get the fare entry, it's like 39 a month. Oo, oh, a month. So, parang sampung trips na yun. Oh. Pero, syempre, talaga work hard ka, study ka. Um, worth it talaga. Again, again nga, if you're, uh, if you you're a homebody, maganda rin ang mga selections nila here on on like hobby stuff like books. Bookstores here, ang parang fully book nila is called Chapters or Indigo. Indigo yeah. Uh-oh. Um, magaganda yung books nila. Amazon here delivers fast. Like if Amazon says same day delivery, <laughs> same day delivery. Um, if you're a gamer, there's GameStop. If you're a crafts person, ano, ano Michaels. Malaki? Michaels. 
Michaels. Kakatabi actually yung Walmart, Best Buy, Michaels, yeah. tapos um, Staples. Uh-oh. Para national bookstore nila. So para ang setup dito Home sa Department. Calgary regarding stores, yung sinabi ni Asset is, nagko-cluster sila. Yeah, it's like you go, uh, every, parang every, kanyari, Southwest. Uh-huh. Quadrant. Or every, uh, eh, hindi naman quadrant, pero uh-huh. parang every number of neighborhood. Neighborhoods. <laughs> Meron kang isang place na pupuntahan na nandun yung Walmart, mm-hmm. nandun grocery, ganyan, everything is there. No? Yun, restaurants, ganun. Mm-hmm. Siguro, um, bigyan namin kayo ng parang cheat sheet ng mga establishments na parang, uh, parang meron sa Philippines, mm-hmm. meron sa Canada. So, so mabilis lang pumunta. Like, mm-hmm. Kunyari kami, seven minute drive to Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> for example, Walmart, that's like SM, grocery yeah. or hypermarket. Um, ang, ang ang landmark cinema nila is ang tawag do sa mga uh, theaters mm-hmm. natin may SM theater yeah. but the thing here is hindi siya parang SM na we've got it all for you kasi yeah, 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 yeah. yung malls dito walang grocery yeah yeah walang so groceries. sa iba ka pa pupun- pero yun nga kasi sobrang convenient naman mag travel like hindi ka abutin ng 20 minutes oh my god mm-hmm. go to one place to another. Mm-hmm. I mean, kung sasadyain mo, gusto mo experience yung ibang commercial center mm-hmm. in a different quadrant, usually 20-minute drive yun. Or so- southwest to northeast or northwest, ganyan. But if you stay within your quadrant, which is malaking area din naman, nandun naman lahat ng kailangan yeah, na. Okay. Yun. So that's for entertainment, recreation, shopping, shopping, ganyan. Online shopping. Mall. 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 Ah, online shopping. So your options are Amazon. TGG and Facebook Marketplace. Walang shopping dito, sadly. <laughs> Walang yung shopping. And, and then, na-try mo yung Ali... Ali pa ba ba? Yeah, I tried AliExpress. Pero it takes so long. Like, siguro a month. Ganun. Bago ah, ganun ba-deliver. Ba? Yeah, parang siyang shopping din. Pero, um... Mas matagal yung delivery. Mm-hmm. Tsaka medyo mas... Eh, Siyempre, mas ano, Canadian dollars. Tsaka naka-order from US brands. Kung wari, yeah. Samsung... Sa US or whatever. Sa Amazon, Amazon talaga ang pinaka-convenient. Kasi ang bilis lang, minsan two days lang, one day lang. One day, oh. Same day. Ganyan, minsan. So, hopefully, um, may, na- may napulot naman kayo sa pag-share namin on how we were able to adjust to life here in Canada after... Almost. Si- almost six months. Yeah, almost yeah. Six months. Half a year. Um, of course, we're, all, we're always open to any ideas or suggestions kung meron kayo. Thank you dun sa mga new subscribers and thank you to sa mga nagko-comment or nagbe-message even sa Facebook personally about any questions or suggestions. Um, feel free to message Julian. <laughs> feel free to message me, Julian, kung mahanap niyo ako. <laughs> um, I'm pretty active naman sa mga Pinoy Student Canada Facebook groups. Saka pag sa Bow Valley kayo, feel free to Ah, yeah, if, you, to if you're a student or interest, uh, at Bow Valley College or interested since my my position naman ako din as student leader, I'm more than willing to give you some you know information that can help you um, adjust easier to life at Bo yeah. Valley College. Yon. So, so thank you guys, and if you have any suggestions like kani yung gusto niyo discuss, just let us know. Let us know, and yeah, so yun yun lang. That's uh that's what's happening this season, this Christmas season. With us, the seasons, two seasons ang ngayon, kasi yung dalawa nag-grow blocks sa quarter nila behind us. So, yeah, Happy New Year in advance. And yeah. Yeah. I work tomorrow. <laughs> yes, work tomorrow. <laughs> wow, December 26. Ako, two weeks pa bago pasok sa school. <laughs> <laughs> so, there. Bye, guys. Thank you so Bye. much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. 